Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Jim here. Electricity demand across the eastern power market run by PJM Interconnection LLC reached 144,557 megawatts Tuesday afternoon, and that's the highest since August 12, 2016, as people blasted their air conditioners and fans to keep cool. In New York, which is suffering through a fourth consecutive day of temperatures above 90 degrees Fahrenheit, power use surged to the highest levels since 2013. New York has cracked 90 degrees Fahrenheit or above every day since Saturday and could get there again as summer's first heat wave keeps a grip on the Northeast. Temperatures could slip a few degrees in New York and New England Wednesday, but that probably won't bring much relief as humidity will remain high, said Richard Bann, a forecaster at the U.S. Weather Prediction Center in College Park, Maryland. Washington will notice even less of a change. While heat advisories and excessive of heat warnings stretch across the U.S. from Kansas to the Atlantic. They're densely packed across northeastern states and will be back again Wednesday. And they are back, folks. A ridge is anchored over the U.S. and it's deflecting any cool air well north of the international border, Ban went on to say. Yes, indeed, folks, it is hot and it is humid in the northeast. And I wonder with this uh, increased power consumption what are the chances that we might face brownouts or blackouts in this area? It's something I've been thinking about now for a few days. Thus far, at least where I'm located, there haven't been any such things, but it's something to be aware of. Do what you need to do to stay cool. Uh, hydrate. Uh, you know the drill. You don't need me to remind you. I'll leave you a link. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please give this video a thumbs up. Share it if you feel so led to. And artificial intelligence, weird weather, pestilence, spiritual warfare, politics, gun control, and more. It's all in my must-read book, Light, a Wayfarer story, available in Kindle and paperback and linked below. It's fiction, or is it? Check it out. But most importantly of all, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you.